with St. Louis Power Sports, and I'm back here with Zach Nash with Side by Side Videos. Uh, today, I've got uh, my personal razor back in the shop, and uh, I've developed a check engine light. So today, we were going to kind of show you guys what kind of makes us a little bit different than some of the other shops. Um, uh, we we're going to show you how to hook our, our player software up to it and diagnose the issue and uh, possibly a repair. Uh, you got anything you'd like to add, Zach? Man, this is a new product, new to me. We're really excited to uh, check it out. You know, like I said, this is um, Joe Show, Joe's Mechanics or Joe's Auto Shop. He can't do this, you know. So yeah, I'm really excited to dive into this and see what it's all about. Yeah, yeah, we're super excited to show you. Yeah, let's sure. take a look. All right, so we got Colton, the diagnostic king here. He's gonna <laughs> hook things up. He's our tech savvy guy at the shop. Uh, when he's not playing video games, he's working on computers. So. We like to uh, we like to keep them pretty busy around here. All righty, we've got Colton here hooked up. Uh, he's gonna kind of show us some of the options that this thing can do. So there's uh, some of the cool stuff with it is you can check the his history of the vehicle. And it'll let you know what kind of RPMs it's been run at. All right, this is showing you the throttle position sensor history. So you see Nick does a lot of trail riding because he's at about 10% throttle for most of the time. or right around the 3000 RPM range. But it's also going to show you if you ever had an overheat on the history or if, if the it's shut down from overheat, uh, rollovers, low oil pressure, if it has a pressure sensor on the, the unit. Then there's also these output state controls, which are pretty cool, that we can activate, you'd say, the fuel injectors if you were testing for an intermittent signal to one of them or the fuel pump itself. You can kick it on and off to be able to test your fuel pressure as well as your coils. Or your cooling fan because sometimes they have cooling issues you see and kick it on this really helps us big time when it comes to diagnosing or diagnosing excuse me <laughs> issues with these machines yeah if you ever needed a uh, an ecu replacement or anything like that in your unit you would need this software in order to get it reprogrammed and learn all the the new stuff as well as any updates that come from polaris the software is needed for it it's just so. one more reason to go to St. Louis Power Sports because they have this technology here. Well, we definitely, we can do this with Kawasaki. We can do this with KNAMs. Um, we can do this with uh, Suzuki's even. So if you guys have one of these other makes or models, we also definitely offering, offering services and uh, these kind of diagnostic um, jobs as well for those machines. We now uh, have all of our trouble codes pulled up here. Uh, looks like all of my issues are due to the EPS having low signal, um, which my machine did sit for a little while before I got a chance to get it out over winter. I did have to use a jump box on it to kind of get it going. So that could have, that could be the, the cause of what most of mine are. I'm actually gonna have Colton here. Um, show him how we can erase these historic codes and see if they'll stay off to see if this issue is gonna be fixed. And then we can try to, uh, Take her for take her for a rip in the parking lot and see if uh, see if it's gonna stay off. Yep, they cleared away. They did clear away. Okay. Sweet. So yeah, this one. In this case, we were able to just hook right up and we we're able to clear these codes off. Um, this is what sets us off from another shop. Uh, we're able to pinpoint the problem almost to exactly. Uh, instead of sitting here swimming in circles or running up diagnostic time, maybe even throwing parts at a unit, mm -hmm. we're able to kind of get right into it. So. Uh, you were saying maybe you have a check engine light on yours. Uh... Yeah, I do. So um, as you guys probably see in mind if you watch this channel at all, I have the old enemy chassis, the Crixus now. It's a full buggy. And we tore um, down a full body and uh, moved over all the parts onto a Wilson chassis. And I actually got a, a light that ID cleared. So, man, first chance we get, we're going to pull it up here. And we're going to see what's going to happen. Um, it's not going to be this video, but we'll see. But I'm really looking forward to see what it is and what we can do here. But um, now that we're done, we got Nick's, uh, Nick's full body taken care of. We're going to take it out of the parking lot and uh, make sure it's properly uh, taken care of and um, yeah. working right. Yeah, I, we can go out there and, uh, and give it a test and see how yeah. everything goes. So, yeah, make sure everything's Yeah, we'll see out. if that light's going to stay off and uh, see if we can uh, get back out on the trail this weekend. Absolutely. See if that check engine light's going to stay off and if my power steering is going to continue to work.
right, that's pretty cool. You know, um, thanks for uh, tuning in for another uh, episode of Tech Tuesday. Um, on the uh, next Tech Tuesday, we're going to have my buggy in here. We're actually going to show you how to use the uh, digital wrench to, on the uh, mobile device. So it's very compatible. Um, you know, thanks Bluetooth. for watching this video. Yeah, it's all Bluetooth. <laughs> <laughs> man, don't you love 2020? You yeah, know? it's crazy, man. <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know, thanks for watching this video. Uh, check out more. You know, we're going to have the links down below. Have, we're going to check us out. And, uh, you know, like, subscribe, you know, uh, go check out the social media platforms. Uh, we're all on both of them, or all of them, really. Instagram, you know, Facebook, YouTube. You know, check us all out. Stay safe. We'll see you on the trail. <laughs> kind of show us all of the trouble codes that I have going on at this time which is quite a bit.